today we are getting an 160 gallon fish tank. I'm sketched out, bro. As of right now, we have like three different projects going on. This room, I actually ended up getting, I'm gonna go through this bag full of goodies. Oh my God. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Watch your fingers, bro. What's up, Kaferos? Welcome back to yet another video here. Today, we are getting an 160 gallon fish tank. All right, I gotta let him know I'm filming. I don't know how much he wants me to uh, exactly film around his house. This tank is huge, let me just say that. Dude, it's so big, bro. Look how wide it is. We got the fish in here, right? Yeah, so it's, we'll go through with these fish. Look at the blue crawfish right there. Oh, Literally, look how sick that is. So, so we've got a few cichlids, uh, Oscars, the Albano oh. Oscar. So. I don't know what I'm gonna keep out of here. Nick also has tanks, as you guys know, so we don't know from that. We've also got some gravel. He's done a lot of the work. Appreciate that, that's for sure. And then uh, we've got the tank of, itself right here. As you can see, all these little things open. It's absolutely huge. We can always do whatever we want, any color we wanna paint it. As you can see, these open up as well. It's massive. And uh, let me know in the comments down below. I know I've been saying I'm gonna get a tank for a while. Actually, I didn't mention it too much, but obviously I'm getting a tank, so uh, comment down below what I should get inside this tank. I have a few ideas, but I don't exactly wanna say it yet. I wanna kinda see what you guys think, so comment what you think. Fish wise, I should get in there. Holy moly. Mega tank. It's perfectly right in place. That's dope. There it is. I appreciate it, guys. We're heading back to my house right now and I hear just the strap flopping. Bro, this is gonna be so sketchy. I'm about to drive like the slowest person you've ever seen in your life. Like you see those slow drivers? I'm gonna be one of them out there on the road. Driving in the right lane, 45 miles an hour on the highway. What? What? 45 miles an hour. <laughs> Pretty damn slow. I'm sketched out, bro. <sighs> oh my. And just like that, it's the morning. Yes, we still do have the 160 gallon fish tank. And yes, it's going into this room. We just got carpet installed. Just a second ago, it's literally like two seconds later, I am unloading everything that I bought at Walmart that day for this room, this merch room. I now have carpet. It has like a cool gravel look to it, so I'm super stoked. I have so much to do. So the tank will be last because I personally, I cannot lift that thing obviously by myself. No rushing into that, but it will be today. I will get that thing in here. And most of all, get the whole entire room set up. Like, look at this. I have all these to make. I wanna have this room pretty much done other than the TV that'll be hanging up right there. It's gonna be super cool. I have the layout already in my head. So uh, right now I'm just gonna pretty much build these, get everything ready, and then before you know it, We'll be having this tank in here, setting it up. Stay tuned guys, it is gonna be dope. Oh, by the way, this water heater behind me here is actually gonna be a wall built like that around it that's movable. It's gonna be pretty cool. Um, you guys will obviously see that in one of these upcoming videos. I'm not gonna film building it, I'm just gonna have it here so you'll see it. As of right now, we have like three different projects going on. This room, out back, and then the tank itself. So that, that's three different things. I was gonna wait on buying the tank, like I said in one of my other videos. Once we get the whole backyard situated, I might have to plan on getting one of these. But uh, I went on to offer up, and I saw this tank, 160 gallons for 650 bucks, and I couldn't pass it. I was like, I'm not gonna wait on it. I'm not gonna miss this good of a deal just because I'm having something else being built. So I said, why not? Screw it, I'm buying it. I just wanted to clarify that I did say I was gonna get it later on, but I couldn't pass the deal. Let's get this done. Alrighty, and uh, first one is now built. There is a hell of a lot more than I thought in that little tiny box. One, two, three, four, five layers of this thing. Bam. All right, well I skipped through a lot of it. I actually moved it from right here to here. Laptop spot, desktop spot, and then I'm gonna drill a hole right here 
so that all these wires that are down here, right here, all these will go through this hole right here. Or maybe I'll drill it in the middle. And then I'll have something that, that blocks off all this. So you're not gonna see like under this table. I'm gonna have an extension cord that runs with like one of the multi-plugs down there. As you can see, I have now hammered this thick wire right up along the wall and you barely would notice that. I grab Luna and the shrimp. I think there's two shrimp in here. And uh, I believe I'm gonna put her right here, uh, uh, right here for now. I might even upgrade her tank to a bigger tank. Like I said, everything looks smaller on camera. This looks a hell of a lot smaller on camera. It's bigger than it looks, that's for sure. But there's Luna. I'm gonna plug her stuff in. All right, first things first, while no one is home to help me bring this beast of a tank into the room, I'm gonna go through this bag full of goodies that the guy gave me with this tank. Look at this. The first thing that pops up is a, uh, a baby fish cage, just like the one I have out there that has the baby mollies in it right now. Alrighty, so first things first, we got a giant piece of artificial reef. I'm not gonna be using this one right here because I'm gonna make it more of a natural looking tank. This doesn't look so natural. So uh, I've got filter cartridges, this is just extras, some plants, sponge. Oh brother, oh brother. Look at these right here. These are giant aerators. So I'm gonna lay these both in the back of the tank. There'll be air pushing up through the back. This is gonna be so sick, you don't even know. This is where the tank's going right here, and as you can see, two outlets right there. So we're pretty much set. I just gotta move this, and then we're gonna get this tank in. All those extra cartridges as well as that other bag. Or if anyone's ever smelled prime, it looks like this, and that stuff smells so bad. In the bottom of this bag, uh, I think a little bit leaked. Oh yeah. Ooh. 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 Anyway, we've got a siphon. This is definitely gonna come in handy when I'm gonna clean all the poops off the bottom. This right here is the aerator pump that makes these pump out bubbles. Four pack, full of cartridges, another one. Another one. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff in this bag. And also, can't forget inside the bottom of this, I put both the filters. These are 30 to 60 gallon Aquatech filters. Not the biggest fan of Aquatech, but uh, get what you get. So there's those two right there. And a bunch of driftwood. Like I said, we got these, which I'm not putting in the tank. These actually float, this is real driftwood. And then these ones do sink, and this looks really cool. Like I said, that real natural look. So these are probably going in. And right out this side door here is the backyard. So guys, if you, so if you did want a backyard update, I'm gonna walk out here real quick, just show you what's going on. If you saw the last backyard update, that's pretty much how it still is. I haven't really made much more progress back here. Not that I'm in any rush to, but big pond looks the same. Mini pond looks the same. Here we go, I'll feed these guys real quick. Look at them. So cool. I actually ended up getting one of the black bubble eye goldfish right down there. You can see him down there, he's super cool. So Bingo did get a friend now, although he's much smaller, but he did get a friend. Koi's are going ham, Molly's are going ham, they love all these live plants. Check up on the babies here. As you can see, all five are still in there, other than the shadows going over them, but all five are still good in there, and they are fed every single day. Dump is down there just hanging out. And that was your little quick backyard update. Let's get back inside and get this tank rolling along. All right, now the tank. Let's get this tank out of here. You want me to take that side? I'll come off this, Sam, and grab my side. And then I'll come and get Holy the middle. Holy So heavy. All right, like the middle, middle guys. Start going this way a little bit, because Joey needs to do his one in that. We can support the middle if you can jump down. I'll jump the middle. I'll jump down. This is so heavy, dude. All right, keep going, Joey. Take as much weight of it. You ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. It's still the structure. Oh my god! Beautiful. Yep. Oh, the gate just closed. No. Right here. No. No, 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 no. Yeah, right here. Right here. All right, Paul, drop it first. Oh. Holy moly! All right, well, the bottom's kind of dirty in this carpet, so it's gonna suck. But we'll just watch it. We'll just vacuum. This is what needs to go right into the wall, like right away. Oh, let's go. Close. All right, Sam, go down. And you just slide. Now slide it to that side. And then push it up. Not too close. I gotta put the filters back there. 
Oh, thank God. Really? Bro, it, yeah, it cannot Ooh. fit any better than that. Did you look at it? Yeah, I measured it, but it, it, I didn't know how the, this tank Oh, now out. we gotta lift this onto that. Gotcha. Yeah, now we gotta get this tank onto the stand, so. Alright. Joey, how much you did lift? <laughs> no, not this. Oh, my lord. Really? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one. Alright, stand on the now. Sure, you think it was supported? It, it does. Push it. All right, watch your fingers, Joey. Don't hit it anymore. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to use your fingers. Huh? Push it, push it now. Push it down. Watch your fingers, bro. Push from my point of view. Current situation, we just cut or broke off these sides with the hammer. Now we got to... Now we got a saw right here, so this will fit without smacking someone in the head when they walk into here. Because this right here is pretty much the only spot for this tank in this room. Oh, that, that did not work out at all. It started splitting, and uh, from there, just, you know, bad. So, uh, not keeping this top. We're just going to leave it like that for now. I'm not putting fish that'll jump in it, at least, anytime soon. we we'll obviously have to let this tank cycle, so my grandparents are coming soon. Grandpa, I know you're watching this. He is the best builder, so uh, he can make a new top for me super easily. So I'll have him do that. Let's just get this thing to the trash. Perfect. Right where it belongs. So as this fills up and we sit here waiting. Yes, this won't have fish in for a pretty long time because obviously, like I said, I gotta get a new top. And uh, I'm going to let this tank cycle for a long time. Not that I'm in any sort of rush to put fish in this. I got a good deal on it. So I decided to get it. The fish that were in this tank went to Nick's house. He has like five different tanks. So I just let him have them. I didn't need them. And I wasn't ready for them. So uh, the backyard is getting rebuilt. This is getting water in it right now. Uh, there'll be sand on the bottom. So you won't see any of that junk down there. Now let's fill this thing up. Get the filters. Put everything right here under the tank. And see how it looks. This side's a little lower than that side. Kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, guys, before I get all this stuff and put it into the bottom of the tanks, get the filters running, I want you to comment below. I said this before. What fish should we put in this tank? You let me know. If it gets a lot of likes, I'll probably buy it. So just, just comment down below what kind of fish. All right, I just rinsed all these off. We're going to put all these under here as well. Two filters. This, which we won't use, but it's very expensive, so I'm just going to sit here anyway. The goodie bag full of the plants, the aerators, the pump for the aerators, and uh, siphon. Not going to open that just yet as well. Throw that under there. Now, what we will be opening is these filter boxes right here. This has our filters in, obviously. Get these things out. Get them pumping. So, I left a gap from the wall in the tank. Hopefully, they fit. They fit, actually, pretty good. Another thing you want to have, if you look back here, you see how from the filter, there's a loop. There's a loop. It goes down and it loops back up to the plug. You never want your line to go straight down to the plug. If a water drop catches that wire, it'll go straight down that wire into your plug and then boom, you're, you're screwed. So what you want to do is always have a loop in your wire. So go down, loop back up, and then plug in. Just a little tip there. And now check that out. Guys, without the background in that tank, without sand, without a lot of plants, without fish, that thing looks badass. We're gonna actually repaint this more of a glossy black instead of that like matte kind of rough looking black. We'll kind of make it nice. Like I said, we're gonna get a new top made. We now have an 160 gallon tank. I couldn't pass the deal. We've got everything down below. We're gonna give it a little bit, probably like two weeks to cycle through and then we'll probably get our first fish. So guys, start commenting. I almost forgot that we actually did the room in this video as well because uh, that tank just overwhelmed my, my mind. This is pretty cool, I can't lie. I have to show you this. This thing goes off like every like 75 minutes or something like that. I don't know, but just, and it smells so freaking good. So good.
Thank you all for watching. If you haven't done this already, join the family, hit the subscribe button, and uh, let me give you a... I want to start doing these. I don't know how many times I'll remember this. I see so many comments down below. Such positive people. And I love it. I honestly love it. So what I'm going to do every single video, at least the ones I remember, I'm going to shout out a positive comment every single video, at least the ones I can remember because I'm probably going to forget. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to be honest. There's so many. It's literally, it's insane. First Cafero shout out for being so positive is Prance, I believe is how you pronounce it. He said, hey Paul, love your videos. Keep up the good work. Hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you guys, in fact, have a wonderful day as well.